mom, no, this is not the dub that you think it is. The fact that he brought her home to meet his mother and then threw her under the bus. And it really was moral high ground. So if I just, I won't do it. I won't put the child through. Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. A couple weeks ago, I got myself into a bit of hot water when I did an episode about Fresh and Fit and the abortion scandal that they have been dealing with. The Red Pill folks on Twitter got pissed, Fresh and Fit got pissed, and spent a lot of time and energy being angry at me on their stream, but I genuinely do not care. And my principles that dictated how I responded to that story haven't changed. Very sorry to break it to you. But now we do have more information coming out about this story, so we do need to go through the update because there is a crucial element that now we know. Before we dive into this though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you've not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section episode. All right, so we will link the original episode below because there is a lot of context there. I recommend going and watching it if you've not seen it already. But the long and short of it is that Fresh and Fit is a male empowerment podcast and the hosts go by Fresh and Fit. Their real names are Walter and Myron, and they primarily talk about the relationships between men and women and the problems that the sexes are facing in the modern age. Many of those problems are based upon each other and caused by each other. And one topic that really stands out because it is such a constant on their show is them talking about women needing to take accountability. You know, men do this well, but women, oh, they need to get their act together. They just need to have personal responsibility, take accountability, which obviously I do agree with. So when Fresh allegedly got a woman pregnant and then told her to get an abortion because he didn't want to be a dad, well, that was the perfect ironic twist, obviously, because look who wasn't taking accountability now. Look who didn't want to be a father and told this woman to go get an abortion. I got a lot of flack for pointing this out and talking about this story. And the argument that they decided to use against me in the aftermath was that this woman is nest allegedly. She is a she's a allegedly and therefore she's crazy and not worth listening to whatsoever. However, she is a and allegedly a crazy that he told that he loved and took home to meet his mother and had unprotected sex with because allegedly he said he wanted to have a family with her. So I don't really think that's the dunk they hope it is. Just from my point of view, maybe you think that's really cool. I certainly don't think that is a great thing. I think you guys know that. As I said in my original episode, if you do not want to have a child, do not be dumb. There are ways to prevent that. Condoms are readily available literally everywhere. If you are a man and you don't want to have a child and you don't want to wear condoms, you can get a vasectomy. If you know that is not going to be in your future, a woman can be on birth control. There are so many options in 2024. There are so many smart, proactive, moral ways to go about this instead of advocating for the killing of a baby that did nothing wrong. If this child actually exists, it did nothing wrong and it should not face the consequences for your irresponsible actions. And you'll never change your mind about that. This does not need to be a conversation that we are having. And then secondly, people were saying, well, Brett, she could be lying about all of this. And literally, yes, I said that in the episode. I said, yeah, maybe she is crazy. Maybe she's making all this up. I don't know this woman. But right now, with the information that we have available, the texts, the audio recordings, the live streams, everything, we can see that one party is advocating for the abortion and the other is not. And it's ironic. So we're going to discuss it. We're going to have a great time doing it. And my conclusion was that they had both done irresponsible things because they engage in unprotected sex without commitment. Like that is bad, irresponsible behavior because you know that a life can be created. That is a very, very serious thing. All of that is the background. That's my point of view. But now we do have an update because apparently this girl who posted online crying about how Fresh didn't want to have the baby, you know, she thought that they were going to have a family together. She has decided to now have the abortion. So she is no better than anybody else watch this video um yeah so um i'm not gonna be able to keep the baby oh oh you're not you're not gonna be able to keep the baby no come on the drama like girl save us the crocodile tears this whole thing is just rough Green, speaking of rough. Now, if you've watched the show for any amount of time, I'm sure you know that we love rough greens over here. You guys have started to love rough greens and I know that your dogs love rough greens. Now, rough greens knows that dog food is dead food. Your pet's health is just as important as your health, which is why you need to supplement their diet. And that is where rough greens steps in. Rough greens contains all the necessary vitamins, minerals, probiotics, omega oils, digestive enzymes, and antioxidants that your dog needs literally every single day. Things that they're probably not getting from their conventional kibble. And the best part about rough greens is you don't have to go out and buy a fancy expensive new dog food. You can just sprinkle rough greens on their food every single day so they can eat their rough greens while you're taking your supplements and your green powder in the morning and you will both start your day off on the right foot. Rough greens supports healthy joints, improves bad breath, boosts energy levels, and so much more for your dogs. We are, we eat, and that goes for dogs as well. The team at Rough Greens is so confident that rough greens will improve your dog's health that they are offering my viewers that free jumpstart trial bag so that your dog can try it too. A free jumpstart trial bag can be at your door in just a few business days. So go to roughgreens.com slash brett or call 877-66-MY-DOG. Again, that's roughgreens.com slash brett or you can 
can call 877-66-MY-DOG today. All right, back to something that is objectively not as healthy as Rough Greens, not taking accountability for your actions. You did this whole stream victimizing yourself. Oh, I'm not going to be able to. No, like that removes the responsibility from you. If this child exists, if you are carrying a baby, you are choosing to have an abortion. You are making the choice to not go through this pregnancy. Be honest, this is not something that is happening to you. This is a choice you made by having sex, and this is a choice that you are making by ending this life if you are actually pregnant. And then she went on later in the video to share her rationalizations about why she was not going to be able to have the baby. I don't, I'm not gonna be a single mother. I don't want my baby grow up without a father. Even until now, he's not showing up. I asked him to do a DNA test. I asked him to speak out. He refused. Instead, he's been acting like a child on the show and playing a song like, like celebrating me being single mother. That's embarrassing. That is completely, it's disgusting. Like, oh, she's not, I don't, she's not gonna be a single mom. Okay, what a slap in the face to all the women who did the right thing, who did the hard thing, who dealt with the consequences, who sacrificed for their unplanned children. That is the right thing. This behavior is abhorrent. A child's value in this world is not based on how it was conceived or the situation into which it was born. That does not make it any less than whatsoever. And she has this whole argument where she's basically taking the moral high ground, saying that, oh, I don't wanna bring a child into the world without a father, that's not the right thing to do. That does not justify killing your child, never. And now both people in this situation are treating this child, if it even exists, as if it's just nothing. It's terrible, terrible behavior, completely. And even if the child doesn't exist and she made all of this up for clicks, Fresh's response is still abhorrent as well. Now, I was happy to find myself in the comment section. That is always a joy. This guy tweeted and said, so she could force him to do a DNA test in the state of Florida. She just doesn't want to be dragged through the court system where she knows that she'll be obliterated. I don't know that for a fact. Maybe she's lying. Who knows? I wonder what Brett Cooper has to say about this. Oh, wait, the hit piece is already out there, so she will stay silent. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm actually right here. I didn't do this episode sooner because I was busy earlier this week doing an episode with Jordan Peterson, who is actually a good role model for men instead of these guys. But now I'm back, and there is new information about the circumstances so obviously I'm gonna talk about it, but it doesn't really change my opinion about this being completely avoidable and irresponsible. The only thing that has really changed is that I now believe that there are two bad actors in this situation. And the posts on X have been fiery. Somebody commented and said, two degenerate people doing degenerate people things. This clown show is both they're doing. Yes, you should both take responsibility. Somebody else commented and said, they are both in the wrong. If you don't want children, you shouldn't be having sex. At least take precautions. It's the bare minimum. You know how you can stay out of this mess? Oh wow, by not having unprotected sex. It is literally that simple. Or just sex in general with people that you don't wanna have children with and people that you do not know or trust or shouldn't trust. It is not worth the risk. Obviously in this day and age, people wanna throw sex around and say that it's meaningless, it doesn't matter. It does matter. It matters biologically. It takes a huge toll on our hormones and our pair bonding, but it also has very serious consequences. Obviously these consequences can be beautiful things because children are incredible and they are a gift, but that is a consequence of your actions that you have to be prepared for. It is serious. And I don't think these people thought that through. Somebody else commented and said, don't want fornication prizes, don't fornicate. Again, very simple and easy fix. If you knew that this girl was an ass, if she was displaying crazy Miami vibes, then I'm sorry, but you should not have slept with her. That would completely remove you from the situation where she possibly got pregnant or is lying about being pregnant to extort you. Completely avoidable. I would also suggest not bringing an ass home to meet your mom, like even Pearl could have told you that. Pearl could tell you that. But seriously, like you could have kept yourself out of the situation from the get-go. And that's why I think it is totally ridiculous, which I said in the first episode as well, and I will continue to stand by that. But yes, based on the new information that is coming out, this girl is displaying absolutely immature, selfish behavior. And if there actually is a baby, she should be taking accountability. And if there's not, then she should be honest and say, I lied about it. But what she is currently doing and promoting online is disgusting and wrong, and that is a fact. And I'm glad that she has now shown her true colors. But this whole situation is just ridiculous. And this is a prime example of what not to do. If you are a man or a woman, does not matter, do not do this. And I will leave it at that and we can all just move on. Well guys, I hope you liked that video. Make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel if you have not already. And if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat and on TikTok. See you guys next time. Bye.